I'm Sam Savage, Executive Director of ProbabilityManagement.org. But unfortunately, people often model these things in very similar ways. And so what I'm going to do is build a little tiny model of a forest fire, which is just a minuscule version of the sorts of models that, uh, that Joe builds. But if, if anything in blue goes, the other ones in blue are more likely to go. All the refrigerators, all the <laughs> hospital equipment. And so I, well, I actually have the whole distribution here. So if you had blindly gone ahead and said, well, it doesn't matter where I put the poles because on an average, I'm going to lose one power tower, you know, wrong. Because the chance of exceeding three of them, I think the high was around 2.6% or something. And what, what this required was a simulation of the fire that preserved the spatial relationships of the squares. And then the third group in the Sierra, where there are two huge fires this year still burning right now moderate upward trend when you account for 2020 and 2021 in this data set, it'll be much stronger upward trend. You can see the probabilities range from less than one in a thousand in the yellow to more than 10% per year, um, which is quite high. This is the distribution of the amount of area burned. It's a very, very small target of a very high probability. 1.7 fires per year, bigger than 100,000 acres. This looks like it's linear space, right? So this is an exceedance probability curve. So Sam talked about impacts to transmission lines. So it's it's a common logarithms uh, of the impact. The, the one year, this is just in one year. And so I really, I really like these exceedance probability curves. Now on this one, what I'm showing is a hypothetical example of two fires that might be burning in a region in California. And you need to know how to allocate your firefighting resources. These are decisions that are made every day, by the way, at the national level and at the regional level, how to allocate scarce resources. So what you can see now on this graph is that the basin fire, even though it was smaller, it was not, it was not projected to get quite as large because of where it's burning, it's actually projected to produce more negative effects, more adverse effects, because it was small in contrast. Even though it's getting large, it's actually doing a lot of good where it's generally burning. And the adverse effects that it can produce don't rise to the same level as, as the Basin Fire. The, the Dixie Fire, for example, in its early days and weeks, uh, burned through large, large areas that burned within the last 10 to 15 years. 